Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at the latest entry into the Far Cry series of games. This is Far Cry New Dawn. So this is a, I guess, spin-off game would be the, the best way to describe it. It's it's not a numbered one, it's not like Far Cry 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. It's kind of a, a between the numbered ones. So we had Blood Dragon before, we had Primal, and now after 5 we've got New Dawn. So this is set several years after the events of Far Cry 5. Um, obviously the, the existence of this game does sort of spoil the ending of Far Cry 5. So if you didn't know the ending to Far Cry 5 already, you probably know it by now. Um, basically a nuke goes off, that's about it. So it's a standalone sequel. Uh, I believe it's $50 US or your original equivalent, so it's slightly less retail price than uh, like a main series Far Cry game. Anyway, I've put about three hours into it so far, uh, having a great time, and this is going to be a uh, spoiler-free video, as I, I usually try and do for Far Cry. I was very lucky to get uh, a bit of early access to the game. Alright, so just before we get too far into it, I am playing it before it's been fully released, so if there's any bugs, I haven't seen any so far. Um, if there are any bugs, then I'm playing a pre-release version. So I've actually, I've actually started myself on the starting island from Far Cry 5. Uh, it's obviously the, the same map from Far Cry 5. Captain Rush must have a history of fighting trouble. They're the only reason we survived. Right, thank you. <laughs> um, and it's, it's been really cool to kind of drive around and try and make out where certain locations from Far Cry 5 once were and like how they look now. So this is the world map. You can see I've pretty much just explored just this little strip up here so far. There's still a lot over east I haven't seen. Uh, I've mostly been doing little side quests down here and the story quest. But for now I'm going to take us back to uh, this place called Prosperity, which is our home base for the game. So this game does things quite differently from most Far Cry's. Um, this home base system is quite similar to Far Cry Primal, but other than that it's, it's pretty unique. Um, this is our home base. If we go to our menu, our home base menu. We've got all these facilities here, and we can improve each of them to expand our our home base. And as you upgrade to different facilities, you unlock different things in game. So, for example, if we upgrade the workbench, then we can start crafting higher rank weapons. That's that's how the ranking system works in Far Cry New Dawn. Rank one, two, three, and elite. And in order to upgrade these facilities, you need ethanol. You can see I've got two down there and two there. And to get ethanol, on the map screen you can get this handy little, if you zoom all the way out, you get this little checklist kind of thing. And it tells us where we can find these items. So if we want ethanol, we have to go liberate outposts. So you can see I haven't upgraded this too much so far, just done enough to get me to uh, level two of prosperity. Um, that's because obviously we need to do outposts, and outposts are my favorite thing to do in this game. I think a lot of people don't really like outposts, but I love doing them. So I thought I'd save one of them for this video. We'll just go over the rest of the UI up here. Um, these are our perk points, which is how you level up skills. It's not so much a skill tree. You can pick and choose kind of anywhere. Some of them will rely on prerequisites, like master takedowns, you need to have expert and advanced already. Other than that, you can pretty much pick and choose whatever you want. I've gone for being able to carry more weapons, being able to grapple, uh, being able to pick locks. And then this third little icon up here is the microtransaction currency, which is... It's pretty egregious. I do not remember there being any microtransactions in Far Cry 5. I might be wrong. Um, but they've basically gone with the microtransaction system of Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Origins in this. So if we go to the store... You can buy the Far Cry credits here. And <laughs> you can buy skill points with the Far Cry credits, which is nuts. You can just buy crafting materials if you need them in game. You can buy weapons, vehicles, and clothes. <laughs> um, the nice thing about the clothes, these are all the prestige outfits. You can actually unlock these in-game without having to buy them. It takes a bit of work. You can see it says you have a chance to get a part of this outfit each time you complete Empty Garden Outpost. Um, each time you do the outpost, 
there's a chance that you'll get like one piece of the equipment. So you get like the hat, the top, gloves, uh, or bottom. So you can unlock all these without having to spend money. But I'm not sure about the vehicles yet. Um, I don't see anywhere where you can buy them or unlock them without the Far Cry credits, unfortunately. And the same goes for the weapons. So that's probably my biggest gripe with the game. Like, it doesn't impact me at all. I'm not going to use the, the microtransaction currency. Um, you saw I did actually... I've actually got some from just playing the game. Um, I, I don't remember how I got them. Um, but it's just... It's an egregious implementation of it, being able to spend real money to buy in-game skill points. <laughs> like, that's what cheat codes used to be it for. So yeah, that's absolutely my biggest gripe with the game. Um, other than that, I'm having a great time with it. I love Far Cry. People know I love Far Cry. So I'm always, I always enjoy playing the spin-offs. Um, never finished any of the spin-offs, but I might finish this one. So that's a, a lot of talking over menus and stuff. Let's go... Do a little treasure hunt. That sounds fun. So we can fast travel to one of our outposts. Alright, here's my lovely outpost. You can actually, uh, is it scavenge? Yeah, you can scavenge the outpost, which lets the bad guys take over again, and then you can retake it. Um, and that's how you unlock all the, the parts of, like, the premium outfits. If you do that, the difficulty goes up each time you do it. Um, but I think that's really cool, because... Like I said, doing the outpost is one of my favorite parts of Far Cry, so it's really cool to be able to replay them. Uh, let's go get ourselves a car. This is one I unlocked from the, the Ubisoft club. It was like 30 credits or whatever. So let's, let's drive this blueprint buggy. Which <laughs> I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, we'll refill our ammo. Good. There's no money in this game, obviously, because it's post-apocalyptic. So, you just, you use materials. Can I check my inventory? Yeah, this is pretty much your currency. It's just, you know, copper, components, titanium, things like that. Ooh, there's a, I got to free some prisoners here. Nope. They got away from us. The guns for hire are back, just like in Far Cry 5. Oh. I think it's kind of a neat little car. Oh, come on, little car. So if we look over to the left, you can see that, that smoke. Um, that just marks one of the outposts. So we will possibly even go do that one a little bit later. I think I've got a couple marked on my map that we can do. Uh, they're around. Oh! So I think I'm in, I'm in Act 2 of the story now. Uh, the enemies are a lot tougher. They're going to be Rank 2 enemies. Just like Far Cry 5, there's also pretty much no use for hunting animals anymore. You can... You can still kill animals. You can, like, harvest them for pelts and stuff. But you just sell them now. Um, you don't craft things anymore. Which is a shame, because I really did like that in Far Cry 3 and 4. Nope. We just ran something over. <laughs> so yeah, I was a little bit disappointed that that kind of stuff was missing from uh, Far Cry 5 and also this one. Let's see if we can get this motherfucker. Get her. There we go. So I told my gun for hire to shoot the driver. Jeez. Oh, fuck, I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> this is a disaster. Get out of the road, buddy. Hello, darkness, my old... Oh, yeah, that's a trick. She's, <laughs> she's trying. Oh, look out, shopkeeper. We got him. Yeehaw. That's pretty chaotic. Oh. Somebody died back there. I gotta change spot. Oh. Pew. How dare you. Get out of here. Okay, I think we... Here we go. 
So just give us loot. Ooh. Sweet. Thank you. I don't think there's anybody here. <laughs> I think you're fine. <laughs> get back in. Not able to get in. Get in. No, here. What are you doing? Sounds good. Get in. What are you? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, Finally. Let's go back to this treasure hunt thing. Oh shit, I mean... Mm. So this one... <laughs> there we go. This is actually a truck full of ethanol, which is one of the most important things in the game we need. So you can either destroy it, which will give you a little bit. Oh fuck! Or you can commandeer it. Fuck, we're not gonna get it. I've never got one so far. I'll help you, Carmina. Oh, what the fuck? Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> God damn it, I really want to get one of those trucks. <laughs> now my car is fucked. Oh, there's a little, little quad here, we can take that. Ooh, one of my other gripes, you probably can't see it in the video, is there's constant uh, film grain or noise over the game. Which I hate. That is one of my biggest pet peeves, is film grain in games. I just hate it. I think it's really ugly. And there's no option to disable it, unfortunately. Um, there's, there's a load of options. Really good video options. You can get rid of motion blur and shit like that, but you can't get rid of the film grain. And I hate film grain. I don't know why I'm crouching. This one's probably pretty, pretty chill. Moving to a better spot. Yeah, it's just chill. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so this will give us instructions on how to how to get some treasure. There we go, follow that. Get the stash. So the note probably gave us some information on how to actually get in there, so I might have to read it. Oh my god, fucking rocket launcher boy. Where's he going? Wow, this guy's like invincible. Let me read my note. Yeah, that doesn't actually really help us. I think we probably have to go up or something. Maybe the roof? Ah, now we probably grapple in... Oh, do we? Yeah, we probably grapple in the back. Whoa. Okay, this should. There we go. <laughs> eh. We're in. So we want to get below us. Can you, can you deal with that? Thank you. <laughs> well, Carmine is pretty good, actually. He's doing it! Thank, thank you. Ooh, there's uh, perk points in there. Oh god, you gotta do something! You dying? What the fuck did you do? <laughs> hmm. We have a little puzzle or something here? Oh, this might open the door. I should probably go grab Carmina. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, shit. Justin. Oh. That's an interesting bug. Well that sucks. I mean I was I was there in time. So, to res her. I do actually have enough stuff. You just have to have different crafting materials. There we go. Oh, I need to assign her as well. She'll show up again in a little Roger, bit. See you soon. Okay, good, thanks. Oh, I think now we jump over here. 
Nope, not like that. We need to get over there. There we go. Just kind of leafed it. And now we can turn this, and this should... Raise that car? Sort of, yeah. That'll do. Now we can go in and get our reward. Aha! So we got a bunch of materials. I can open this with my lock picking skill. Which will take a while. <laughs> Shitload of materials, really. Oh, there we go. Far Cry credits. Some perk points. A little audio recording. I think that's it. Okay, let's try and do an outpost. I think this is an outpost here. We'll mark that and we'll just fast travel back to the chop shop again. And that does mean I can grab my uh, my blueprint car again. <laughs> Maybe it won't get destroyed this time. Yes, please. Uh, I think I'm being chased, so I can press shift to turn on uh, auto drive. And now I can turn around and try and blap. Can I lean out? No, I can't lean out. Oh, that's the handbrake. I think we're okay. We're fine. <laughs> See his head. Where I hit his head, jeez. Gotta aim through the car, apparently. <laughs> I think we're at the outpost. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Oh, that's gonna alert everybody. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's gonna make this a lot harder. Oh, okay. I'm gonna <laughs> reload last checkpoint there. <laughs> they they just they just called reinforcements as soon as I showed up. Okay, here we are. We are back. So a good idea is to bring like a bow and arrow with you or some kind of silent weapon. You got it. To be able to take out all the people. They never stood a chance. I should get rid of them already. <laughs> So what I do is just send Carmina in to do things for me. I'll try and sneak up on him. Cause she does them quietly. You'll see this this yellow little tower thing here, that's the reinforcements alarm. Who is she? Hmm. Surprise, asshole. I think she's alerted everybody. She has, which means we need to get over here. And we'll just shoot this. I, uh, have no idea what happened there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, that's stupid. <laughs> okay, I guess, guess we'll try again. I don't even know where that bomb came from last time. Maybe him. It might have been a rocket launcher, I guess. He doesn't look like he has one. Got him. Okay, Carmine's done, so she can do that. Let's try and scope out people. Let's get her on that one. Yeah, I wish I could uh, get a silencer on my sniper rifle. So I'd absolutely just... Oh yeah, he's got the rocket launcher. Okay, let's... There we go, I got it. So now, otherwise, we just have to kill everybody here. And that'll let us take it. 
Where are you going, buddy? I missed, but thank you. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> so that was pretty easy. Like I said, they all start off on like easy difficulty, and then you can redo them at higher difficulty. That's me. <laughs> I think I look great. One star. I thought it was okay. I think you need to be totally silent if you want to get like a really good rating. That was too close. So we got some good ethanol. 125, that's pretty good. And over on the left we'll see our like equipment, our outfit bonus. No outfit bonus for that one. Oh man. Okay, what? Which one is this? Broken Forge. So, outfits. Which one's Broken Forge? Oops. Oh, Broken Forge gets you the night stuff. <laughs> Shit, I actually want that. See, so yeah, I can either spend 500 Far Cry credits or I can like relinquish the, the Broken Forge and then redo it again to try and get parts of it. This is the one I really want. I think that looks dope. Very Far Cry primal -y. So just before we wrap it up, I'm going to try and do uh, like one part of this side mission, a thousand words. You basically find a bunch of photos of Hope County before the bombs dropped, and you like go and try and find the exact location in game, and you match up the photo. And I think that's really fun. So if I track it, I think I can like look in my inventory at the the photos. Yeah, here we go. So we've got John Seed's Ranch, Ryan Daughter Aviation. Ball's End. I do know where that is. Vaguely. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it on the map. But I'm going to try and get there. I think it's right here, actually. I think it's by the chop shop. So if we fast travel back there, we might be able to line this up. Okay, so it looked like it might have been pointing towards the... The, the windmill up there with the, the church in the background. If we go vaguely over here... Ooh, this is like a like a loot goblin from Diablo. So if we kill him, he drops his backpack with a bunch of sweet loot. Which I'm gonna try and do. Oh no, he's smoked! I'm back, buddy. <laughs> Your loot. Almost, yes. Grab his loot. 36 duct tape is pretty good. I think everybody's gone, so let's have a look at that, that photo again. Oh, it was the water tower part. I think that's still the church right there. I don't know where the water tower would have been. Ow. Shit, I might get, I might get murdered here. Eh. Thank you. Oh, fuck, there goes the fire. <laughs> Okay. Let's let's try and do this photo thing. It sounds fun, okay? So where's the water tower? Wasn't even gonna go for it, but <laughs> I guess if you do it that quickly you might as well. There's a little supply drop there, kinda like I don't know, like PUBG or something like that. Um all the, the enemies in the area will rush for it. Which I think is quite fun, actually. I think we probably have to be like up here, possibly. No, no idea, no idea where it is. So let's let's finish the video by. Oh, did we? I think we got it. Is that something like? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, I thought it was pretty neat. I quite like that, actually. I think that's cool. Man, Molotov out. There might be nobody there. Gun's pretty good. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, they always just like guard it. I, I assume it would expire after some time. But now we can get a bunch of loot. Ooh, pretty good. Ooh, some ethanol as well. Hell yeah. All right, there you go. That was that was my video on Far Cry New Dawn. Sorry, it was like a little all over the place. I had uh, a few things I want to show off in the video without showing anything about the story at all. So I'm really liking the game so far. Like I said, I'm only about three hours in. Um, apparently I'm done like 33% of the story so far. But I don't know how accurate that number is because the story is split up into three parts. So I very recently finished part one of the story and I'm now in part two. But it is obviously very Far Cry-y. You can do all the, the Far Cry things you enjoy um, with added base management stuff. It's very much like a, a mixture of Far Cry 5 and Far Cry Primal, and I'm pretty on board with that to be honest. I I am I'm enjoying it so far. Not as much as Far Cry 5. I don't think I'll ever enjoy the, the spin-off games as much as the main games, but I'm enjoying it. Anyway, that was Far Cry New Dawn. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!